Do you think that people with low self-esteem are more prone to experience lack of money? Yes. Yes. And that's why sometimes I still have to recondition my personality structure. I came from terrible low self-esteem, which was so crazy because when I look back now, I realize I had such privilege, but I had such low self-esteem. I, um, I couldn't, um, it's all connected to low self-esteem. I couldn't put myself forward because I didn't think I was good enough. And all these types of dynamics. And it's only since that awakening shifted that my heart began to shine and I began to share my heart. And then all this non-duality stuff came and um, writing came. I did that before, but I hid. I was hiding. And still sometimes I can have, um, to plug my computer in, um, like fearful thoughts around money come up but it's just old conditioning that comes and I just re reprogram it like what's my fearful thoughts around money I forget when I'm not feeling it it reminds me sometimes like with the money situation it sometimes reminds me of teachers at school that you're in trouble for something like that's the the feeling that I sometimes get with money, like I did some, I did a naughty. Um, but it's actually really beautiful if you look at money as like energy. Like um, I used to think money was really dirty, and but that it's not that it's really dirty. It's that humans' energy of greed is the dirty energy. Actually, what money is is it's a way of us exchanging things. It's really beautiful. So I can give money and then you can give me vegetables and then you can use that money somewhere else it's not like i you give me vegetables and i have to give you i don't know what i could give you non-duality or whatever um i'm sure i could give you lots of things but whatever you asked for um it's that we can use this money and that is such a beautiful idea it's like energy and we should be like honoring it and respecting it. It's like that's that's energy we're giving each other. What I mean by it is time and energy. It's not like money exists. It's it, money is a ridiculous concept. Um, as thinking as as something that actually exists. What it is is it's it's us exchanging energy together. So somebody comes and helps me with the garden, and I, instead of repaying them through food I repay them through money and then they can go and select their own food maybe they don't like the food I give them and this is why I think digital currency is beginning to become popular because it's it's um, especially in spiritual circles because it's a different way of trading but on the same principle but a more fair principle so money itself is really beautiful, but what humans do with it, the greed and the wanting to keep it all for themselves, and what we make some humans do for that money. I also think that you, that another important part that I try to do is respecting people that work for you. So like with, with the person that helps me in my garden and... Um, like with the um, person that helps me with my organization um, or with anybody, like uh, I try my best to pay them fairly from what I deem as fairly from my heart and not a place of lack. Um, like not a place of contractiveness, but a place of expansiveness. And often the, when we're paying someone, we're trying to look for the cheapest deal or we're trying to look for, and it's like a contracted thing it's like not respecting, like really respecting their trade. It's like trying to look for the cheapest deal. And I, I sometimes do that too. I'm not uh, Mother Teresa. Yeah. Yeah. I, I try, but, I, but when that habit comes up, I try to look at it differently. Like, you know, sometimes when I buy clothes, I, I forget that. But when I'm in person with people, I... Um, I try to do it fairly. 
But yeah, I don't do it with clothes. I buy unfair clothes, but I find it hard to envision that in my brain. I can do fair food. I think it's because it's easy. It's like there's a section of the supermarket that's fair trade. And it's just, of course, that's what you're going to go for. Why would you go for fair fair trade? If this is fair trade, this obviously means it's unfair trade. So, of course, you're going to go for fair trade if it's offered to you like that. Although I don't always, because sometimes I don't have the product I want in fair trade. But generally, and sometimes it is so, so expensive, like cashew nuts and some other products. But generally, (laughs) I try to move towards, like, just contradict everything I say. It's because I want to be really honest and genuine. I don't want to be presenting myself in an unfair way. But with clothes, I certainly don't go fair trade. But with my people that help me around the garden or people that help me with my business, I try to be really fair rather than cheap. Like I think that's our responsibility is um, parting of money. And I have said this to you guys before, I will attempt to try to move to more fair trade clothing. So if you see me in person, you can remind me that that's what I want to do because I also forget... And then I go into the clothes shop and then I'm overwhelmed by the item's beauty and then I buy it. (laughs) But, um, yeah. And then also there's things like computers that we don't really have fair trade computers. That would be a cool thing. Fair trade Apple computer. It would be like 20,000 euros. We'd actually have to pay the real price for it. Um, Okay. Sorry, I got distracted. I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, I completely forgot. Do you think people... Money. That's what we were talking about. So, basically, what I'm trying to say, despite all this fair trade, is like, it's, you do things, this is on the human level, you've got to try with money to do things from an expansive place. So when I share this, like I'm giving every part of my heart... Um, like I'm giving everything, like I'm giving, I'm not taking. I know that I'm I'm really just giving, I'm just like letting my heart sing its love. And it's the same when you're buying things, like it's better come to do all interactions with money like that. When you have low self-esteem though, it's often like you're covered and you're closed and you feel like you're being taken from and you haven't got anything to give. So obviously, it's a good job to try to um, rebalance that. Otherwise, you're going to be poor or rich, but feel like you're poor, which is also just as bad, maybe worse. Oh my God, I love talking. I am a triple Gemini and it's like, I just love this. I love just opening my mouth and speaking about nonsense or everything. anything. I just let it tumble out with no filter. It's just like love. It's beautiful. Alive. 